New at five, dogs are one of the most common victims of animal cruelty. And tonight, a tragic case is leaving the community shocked. CBS 47's Gabe Salazar shows us how a two-year-old Chihuahua was being abused by teenagers until a good Samaritan stepped in. Bruce is now in good spirits, but officials with the Valley Animal Center say it is surprising considering the amount of trauma that he's been through. A woman was driving in the Tower District when she said she spotted two teens with a spray paint can throwing rocks at a crate. Inside was Bruce, a two-year-old Chihuahua. It makes us angry. I think it'd make anybody angry. Um, just the fact that he had no way to tell them to stop. He had no way to speak for or defend himself. A problem that Julianne Adler, dog care associate with the Valley Animal Center, says is becoming more and more common. And we've had dogs come in with burn marks. We've had definitely scratches, um, open wounds. We've had just cases of where we adopt out dogs and they come back two years later, just different, complete just different than their adoption photo. According to the Humane Society, more than 10 million animals die from abuse in the United States alone every year. In 2021, only about 2,000 animal abuse cases were made public, a severe issue that they say remains an unpopular topic. But you can see he has little marks here and there of like the rocks and stuff they threw at him too. Now Bruce has to take frequent baths, applying Vaseline to areas of his body, including his face where he was spray painted. Oh, he's just a cuddle bug. A slow and difficult process to bring him back to normal. What, what did you get out of it would be the biggest question. Like, what do you get out of hurting an innocent dog? If you or someone witnesses animal abuse, the Valley Animal Center says you should first contact the police and file a police report. Though it's going to take a few weeks for Bruce to be fixed, he will be ready for his forever home in a few weeks. For now, reporting in Valley Animal Center, Gabe Salazar, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.